What you're looking at is a custom-built LED light wall lighting rig that I used for my band Beta State when we would play shows. I was very heavily influenced to build these lights after going to a Circa Survive show and seeing a similar version of these lights set up. After looking at the lights in person, as well as a couple behind the scene photos that the person who built them posted on their social media, I was able to kind of figure out how they were built. Not really a step-by-step -step manual as to how they were built, but enough to kind of say, hey, wait a second, I think that I can build these myself. After doing a lot of research about LED lighting, power, DMX, etc. on YouTube, I was able to basically construct these from scratch. They're about seven feet tall. It uses the DMX 512 protocol and each single cell can be whatever color or brightness you want. Here's an example of it cycling through a bunch of flashing colors. Covering the frame is a plastic mesh that was hand sewn from smaller pieces of plastic mesh using fishing line. The purpose of this plastic mesh is that when you would have this on stage outdoors, it would let wind pass through. In addition, it also diffuses the light and allows it to act almost like a screen, giving the light somewhere to bounce off of. Inside, you can see that there's a well for the LED strips that you would simply just glue in there. Each LED wall is actually two LED panels affixed with a hinge. This hinge locks it into place and on both sides there's a male extrusion and a female recession that interlocks the units together. As the video shows, there's two legs for each unit for a total of eight, but since the top panels can come off, you can technically have eight miniature panels on the floor with the included extra eight legs for a total of 16 legs. Every single unit is labeled. We have an A wall, top and bottom, B, C, D, as well as all the proper wiring. The DMX input outputs are also clearly labeled to ensure that you have the correct addresses for Flowing into the next light. Each light panel, all eight of them, have their own individual power supply as well as a DMX motherboard. Everything is pre-wired. After using these for many shows, I've come to realize that this trap door actually needs to be ventilated. For anyone that takes this off my hands, I would recommend adding additional holes to the trap door to allow for proper ventilation of the power supply and the motherboard. It is my belief that the reason why the light that you see is not working is because it was not properly ventilated and the power supply got too overheated. The trap door stays in place with two wood screws. The DMX cables are cut to a specific length that allow for the A and B panels to be on stage right and for the C and D panels to be on stage left with enough room to put a drummer in between the two panels. You can obviously also position this however you like and have just a solid wall of four LED light panels. I plug everything into this simple DMX IS unit. It's a simple USB interface that allows me to create scenes as well as add scenes to songs in sort of a playlist fashion. This is what allows me to program different scenes for each section of the song, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, etc. Going through the different colors, my favorite was always the all white. To me, this always had the biggest impact because it gave that silhouette feel, but using the colors as well as the chase modes also gave excellent vibe and feel. There are some things that need to be done to maintain this lighting setup. Some of the LED strips are not properly glued in. They just need a little bit of glue. And obviously one of the panels of the eight is not fully functional. I do know that the LEDs in that light panel are good. My suspect is that the power supply is not good. We'll cycle through a few more lights so you can see the colors. And here's what the unit looks like without any colors at all. It's painted white on the inside for maximum light reflection and painted black on the outside so that you cannot see what's really going on in a dark stage. These light panels are about 38 inches wide, four inches deep. The legs take up about 24 inches and the leg to the light is about 10 and a half inches if you're placing it against a 
wall. The total height is about 88 inches. Here's what the unit looks like fully disassembled. The unit comes with all of the power cables, DMX cables, nuts and bolts, legs, and light panels. Everything you basically need to get this thing fully operational. Again, these are about 38, 39 inches wide around that. Fully stacked, they're about 28 inches deep and 43 inches tall. Here's a closer look of the extrusion and recess that interlocks each light panel. In addition, you'll get the extra eight legs if you decided to use them all as eight separate panels, as well as a bunch of extra bolts, an extra power supply. I'm not sure if this power supply works, but I'm tossing it in extra. You get a ratchet wrench, as well as a bunch of LED lights and some clamps. Here's an example of the lights in use during an actual show. This was filmed at Bottom of the Hill in San Francisco. As you can see, the lighting rig really adds a lot to the show and makes the show feel a million times bigger. This is exactly what I wanted to accomplish because I always wanted that professional LED wall feel but never had the full budget of a lot of these A-list touring artists that can just get a video wall. This was my attempt to make something close at a fraction of the cost. I'm currently selling these lights. I don't have a dollar amount in mind. I'm considering all offers as this is a very specific and bespoke piece that will probably not have many buyers, but to the right person, it will definitely be worth it. I'm interested in both cash and trades. The reason why I'm selling this is because my band is no longer touring. We are relatively inactive at the moment. And and while I am still interested in making music with the guys, the thought of bringing this on tour just no longer appeals to me. I know that there's a band out there that really wants to up their production and would get a lot more value from these lights than I would have just sitting in my storage unit or at my house. So for all of those reasons, I really hope that this finds a great home with a great band and continue to inspire other people to create the best live performances possible. Thanks for your interest in this video about my lighting rig. If you know anyone that might be interested in taking this off my hands, please let me know. I'd love for these lights to find a great home. To support my musical projects, you can check out my band Beta State on all your favorite streaming platforms, as well as my older band, Strata. Thank you so much.